Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how to make a simple matcha face mask. My skin is looking a little rough today. It needs some love. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So it's been breaking out here, as you guys can see. So I need to do a face mask, and this is what I'm doing right now. So basically what you're going to need is a clay of choice. I use Rishali clay sometimes, um, but I am currently going to be using the Almighty Indian Healing Clay. Um, this is bentonite clay. So many people use it. It is a force to be reckoned with. Um, it removes all of the gunk out of your face, and it's just, it's just the most powerful facial mask. So this is what I'm going to be using as the clay base. For my oil, I'm using rosehip oil. Um, I was going to go grab some carrot oil, which is also good um, for your skin to protect it from the sun. This has vitamin A and C in it. Um, none of that added BS. Um, it's all natural, all pure. So I'm going to be adding some of this to that. And of course, the star of the show is going to be matcha. This is um, my favorite matcha tea and it's really small and expensive but it's really good so i'm going to be using this um to add to my face mask and then i'm going to show you guys how to apply it over here i have my apple cider vinegar this just just adds some oomph to your mask you don't need to add it but it does add a little extra and then i have my um utensil to apply the mask to my face and also to mix it in because you're not supposed to use any metal um when making this mask that's why i'm using my glass mason jar so let's get into this i'm just gonna guesstimate there's no exact amount um but if you like a recipe i'll post it on my channel so let me open everything so you guys can see it open up the rose hip got the rose hip open let me show you guys what that looks like so this is what it looks like in the thing. And then I also, I'm gonna open up the matcha. I mean, I'm sure you guys know what matcha looks like, but my two fingers are really strong. <laughs> All right, so I open this up, but there we go. And that's matcha powder. It smells really earthy. All right, so we're just gonna add everything to here. So I'm gonna start off with our bentonite clay. So you're just gonna, I'm gonna add about two to three of these in there. It looks like a tablespoon. And because it's, and because I'm also adding the matcha, I don't wanna add too much bentonite clay. And you can also use water. Um, I'm gonna probably go grab some in a minute. I'm gonna add a few drops of rose hip oil. You want that oil in there and a little bit of the apple cider vinegar just a little bit to give it an oomph and you see it like activates automatically when it's in there you see it it's doing this thing so we're gonna go grab some water really quick hey because we need water to make this work i don't want to put too much apple cider vinegar so let me grab a container and some water. I usually use filtered water, but I don't have time to be looking for... Oh, actually, I do have some filtered water already. So let me go grab that. I have water over here. And it's filtered. So, my water jug. I got it. Let's go back to the recipe. Alright, so we have our bentonite clay in here. We're going to add in our matcha. And I'm going to kind of wipe this off because I do drink this matcha and I don't want it to be cross-contaminated. I'm just going to add a nice amount of matcha in there. Bam! And that is the start of the show. And then we're also going to probably add a little bit more clay because I want it to be thick. I don't want a thin um, thing. So yeah. That's that, and then we're gonna add in some water. Let me take a picture of this first, because it looks so pretty. You always need pictures, right? Turn you guys around for a minute. I know, I'm just gonna take a picture real quick. Take a picture of your mantra. This is to document it all, but also, it doesn't hurt, it's so pretty. 
All right, so I got a pitcher. Now we're gonna apply this to my face after I add the water. So you guys are gonna be staring at me for a minute. Let's add some water. And you just don't add too much. You just wanna add a little bit at a time so you can get a nice consistency. Sometimes if you add too much, it gets watery and you don't want it watery. Um, well, I don't want it watery. You can make it as thick as you want it. This looks so, it looks like a smoothie. I probably wouldn't, I mean, I'm excited to put this on my face. So that's what it looks like so far. Just gonna smash it down a little bit. <laughs> Give it a little smash, smash, you know, just a little bit. That consistency is all right. I'm probably gonna add in a little bit more bentonite clay because I want it to be, th oh, let's see. Uh, I think that's all right. It should be fine because I don't like it to be super loose. It's not my thing. I like it to be like a nice thick consistency on my face. That's why you only add in a little bit of water. I'm going to add a little bit more bentonite, just a little bit, like a very little. You don't need that much. Bam. There you go. And because the matcha is like the star, it has changed the color. It's like this greenish. Um, it's a pretty color. I like it. Um, kind of scrape those sides down. Get all that ingredients in there. You know, make sure to incorporate. Now I'm just going to apply this on my face so you guys can see what it looks like on the skin. And then that's it. This recipe will be on my blog. I'll leave it in the description bar below. So hello. <laughs> We're going to apply this to my face now. So I'm just going to sit it in my lap. And we're going to apply it to my skin. Ooh. And this is a cheap and expensive way to make masks. Because sometimes, you know, you don't have the money to always buy your Lush products. Or to go to Sephora. Um, especially now because covid exists and it's just messing stuff up this looks pretty I like it on the nose and then the forehead because this is always the problem zone for a lot of people I know it gets bad here for me so we're just gonna put I'm gonna put it all over my face so but yeah, this is what it looks like on the skin. It's nice and smooth. It It's really nice. It's soothing. It's very calming. I like it a lot. It, it doesn't have a smell to it, like a bad smell. It smells more like something natural and clean. It smells really clean. So, yeah. Ooh. So yeah, just put this all over your face. Let it dry completely. It will get a hard. Um, not hard, it'll crack a little bit, it'll get dry. If you've ever used bentonite clay, it'll look like that. And then you wash it off with um, warm water. I usually apply jade, a cold jade roller on my face afterwards. Um, and Or I do a hot towel and then I apply my jade. I know it's a process, but guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you like it make sure to subscribe and let me know if you'd like to see more live home care stuff because I needed to make this and I wasn't not gonna make it um, and I was like let me share because why not all right talk to you guys soon